and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kika and today I'm going to be sharing another super nice knitting tutorial and we are going to make... That's right, this hat that I'm wearing. <laughs> this is a super chunky beanie which is perfect if you're looking for a nice little project, maybe you're looking for some Christmas present ideas. This is one of those that you could give to friends or to family members, super easy to make. Maybe you also want to make more for yourself. Um, all you really need is to know how to knit and how to purl. I'm going to show you how to do a long tail cast on for this. And you just need one big ball of yarn, a <laughs> super chunky yarn. Um, and I literally made this hat in less than two hours. So it's super easy, easy squeezy. Now, uh, I've also made a written pattern that you can download in the link below. It's totally free. It's super easy. You probably don't need a pattern, but maybe if you're not gonna make it right now and you wanna come back to it, you could download that pattern so that you have it easy than when you're maybe watching some Netflix and knitting and maybe you don't want to have me talking there. <laughs> so you can go ahead and download that. This hat is knit in the routes, which means that there isn't any sewing in the end, no seams to be made. When it's done, it's done. Then you only need to weave in the ends a little bit and that is it. So this is really a super, super nice project to finish. All right, without further ado, let's get right into the tutorial. First, what you need is one ball of super chunky yarn. You could, for example, use the Crazy Sexy Wool from Wool and the Gang. This is the color Pink Lemonade or the wool from We Are Knitters. You're also going to be needing some circular knitting needles, one that is eight millimeters, so that's US 11, and one 12 millimeters, that is a US 17. A tapestry needle, a pair of scissors, and some thinner yarn for the finish, and I'll show you at the end. You'll also need a measuring tape, or if you don't have a measuring tape, a normal ruler will do just fine. Oh yes, one more alternative. If you don't have circular knitting needles, you can also use double pointed needles to make this project. All right, step number one is to cast on using a long tail cast on with your yarn. So you need your yarn and then we are going to be casting on with a bigger size needle to make sure that our stitches, that first little edge won't get too tight. So let me show you how to do a long tail cast on. Here is the beginning of this ball. <laughs> Not off to a great start. Here. Now for a long tail cast on, you usually need about three times more yarn than your actual finished edge. So I'm going to be taking quite a lot of yarn and you'll see why in a second. I think this is enough. So step number one is just to make a slip knot like so. And then we grab our needle, tighten. If you haven't done this type of cast on before, I suggest that you put the video on slow motion and do this while you're gonna be casting on yourself because this might look complicated, but trust me, it really isn't. Our first stitches are going to be in rib knit. So we're going to knit one, purl one. So I also want to make sure that the edge is going to be knit one and purl ones. So this first one is going to be a knit stitch. So the second one is going to be a purl stitch. So I'm holding the two strands of yarn here, squeezing them. And then I'm just putting my index finger and my thumb here like that. Okay, and the first one is going to be a purl. So I'm going to go under this yarn, going to go through here, wrap around yarn, use my thumb to push it back through. And then I can tighten using both my fingers. And we've now cast on one purl stitch. Now we're going to be casting on one knit stitch. So again, go with this now. And now we're gonna just go through this loop here, wrap yarn around there, out through the loop, and again, use these two fingers to tighten. Let's do that one more time. So now we've done one knit stitch, one purl stitch, one knit stitch. Okay, so now we're gonna do a purl again. So for the purl one, we need to go under this yarn, then we go through this loop, then we wrap yarn around, go through that loop again. Ooh, was a tight one. And then you can tighten. And then we do one for a knit stitch again. So for the knit stitch, we just go through this loop. We wrap around yarn, go out again the same way we came in, and then we fasten or tighten. 
So now we've done one knit stitch, one purl stitch, one knit stitch, one purl stitch, one knit stitch. And then you're going to do 38 of these. And try to make sure that you keep an even tension because this edge will be pretty visible in our work. And if you get confused along the way, like, wait, did I do a knit stitch, a purl stitch? Uh, what's going on? <laughs> you can see that the knit stitches look a little bit like a V. So you see how they crisscross like a V like that? So this is a knit stitch. And for the purl stitch, you can see that there is a little kind of like a like this sign, you know, that goes like this. <laughs> so it's like a little bump. So that's how you see that there's a knit stitch and this is a bump. So that is a purl stitch if you get lost along the way. So I know now that I need to do a purl stitch. Thirty-seven and thirty-eight. All right, so I have enough yarn left. Uh, make sure that you have around, I would say, twenty centimeters, or at least not less than ten centimeters, because we are going to use that little end in the end. All right, so now you have thirty-eight stitches. Oh. We have Vigo. <laughs> now we're going to be working a knit one, purl one rib. And for that, you want to change to your smaller needle size. So I am using an eight millimeter needle for that. And we're knitting this in the round. So to do that, we're just going to magically take our needles so that they form a round and make sure that you grab the yarn that goes to the ball of yarn here. And now, requires a little bit of adjustment here. Grab the eight millimeter needle, and then you're just going to start to knit. And make sure that you make this first stitch tight enough. So that is one knit, knitted stitch. And then purl the second one, and then just go through and purl and sorry, knit and purl every other stitch. And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know if I... All right, letting go of the past, looking to the future. <laughs> so something that might happen is that there might be this gap where you've started the row. So just try to, on the next row, make sure that you make this first stitch extra tight, just to make sure that there isn't a gap there. When you've worked around 17 centimeters of that knit one, purl one rib stitch, you're going to switch to your 12 millimeter, 60 centimeter circular needle and start to just knit. So we're just going to do stockinette stitch, which means that you will be knitting each round. Grab your measuring tape again or your ruler. And when you've knitted around 15 centimeters of stockinette stitch, it's time to finish the beanie. Grab some of that thinner yarn and your tapestry needle. Cut a thread that is approximately 40 centimeters long and then you're just going to take your tapestry needle through all of the loops while they're still on your knitting needles. So the thinner yarn, make sure that you go through each stitch. And when you've transferred all the stitches onto the thinner yarn, you can just pull out your knitting needles. Grab the ends of the thinner yarn and just tighten it and then make sure that it's really tight and then you can just fasten it with a regular knot. Then just weave in the ends of both the thinner yarn and the end thread that you had of the chunkier yarn that you were knitting with. The last thing we still need to do is to weave in that end that we had at the beginning. And a little tip, you can also fasten this double fold to make sure that it stays in place. To do that, just do a few stitches where you go through both the under layer and the over layer, and then just finish it off by weaving it in on the inside so it isn't visible. And voila, there you have it. You have now knitted a chunky beanie, the marshmallow beanie. You can go ahead and download the free pattern in the link below. I hope you enjoy it. Mm -hmm.
that is it thank you so much for watching this video i hope you're happy with how your beanie turned out let me know by tagging knit with kika on instagram or you can tag me at kudova kika if you share your project on instagram i would love to see what you create and also i'll put uh, links for the yarns that i use they were from wool and the gang and from we are knitters if you want to check out those and otherwise uh, I can't wait to see you in another knitting tutorial. Maybe you want to drop a comment below and share what you'd like a tutorial for. We could make socks, scarves, some mittens. Um, I have some sweater tutorials here already. Um, all right, see you in the next one.